In behalf of my co-authors, I'm delighted to present to you the result of our work. It's called the Space Station App, Design and Evaluation of an AR Application for Educational Television. I'm Simon von der Au, master student at the LMU and working student at the IAT, the Research Institute for the German Public Broadcasters. Edutainment or educational entertainment is a very popular genre. YouTube and other online content platforms offer a great variety of educational content. It's high ranked in YouTube's most popular categories. The traditional broadcasters, however, have difficulties to keep up with online media platforms in entertainment. So, how can broadcasters make educational television formats more interesting and supportive for learners to better compete with platforms like YouTube and Co? One way to do so might be to support edutainment with augmented reality. The extension of educational videos with AR applications would provide many opportunities. The app provides interactivity to passive content and therefore increases viewers' engagement with the topic. Prior work has shown the positive impact of AR for educational purposes. Also, AR has already shown its potential to extend television, for example, in addition to documentaries or to provide accessibility. The problem with extending TV content with additional information on a second device is that usage of this second screen distracts viewers. However, using AR, the TV content is still visible through the application. This might reduce the distraction. So, linear TV, due to its missing interactivity, is not idle for learning. Augmented reality has a great potential to support learning. But the second screen is distracting. Our question is now, how does an AR-supported edutainment scenario perform? We split this general question up into two research questions. The first is, how do users perceive the interaction with AR content as a supplement to educational videos? The second question is, does the interaction with AR content while viewing educational videos impose additional workload on the viewer? To test our research questions, we developed an AR extended educational video. We choose the ISS as neutral but interesting science topic to kindle the interest of a younger and older generation at the same time. The viewer at home should be enabled to watch the entertainment video about the ISS and interact with the same objects at the same time in AR as shown in the video. We produced two educative videos about the ISS for our study. One video focuses on general knowledge about the ISS. The other video explains the orbit of the space station. Both videos switch between moderated scenes with 3D graphics and short clips and animations. We discussed our concept with the educational TV editor and revised our videos with him. The graphics shown in the moderator scene are the same as in the application. Additionally, we developed a contemporary AR app to enrich the videos with matching AR content for both videos. The viewers can interact with the AR content to change, rotate and rescale them. So they can, for example, compare the weight of the ISS to a Boeing 747. For the implementation of the app, we used Unity's AR foundation. To place the objects in the environment, we used plane detection. We conducted our user study in a within-subject design. Participants watched both videos in a random order. One of the videos was with the Space Station app and the other one without. We observed the interaction with the Space Station app and measured workload using the NASA TLX. Also, we assessed the user experience with the user experience questionnaire as well as with open comments. We had 31 participants out of a diverse group and over a broad age distribution. Our study took place in a living room scenario to mimic a common usage situation. 
We compared the NASA TLX scores of the videos watched with and without the Space Station app. Hereby, we observed a higher frustration when people watch the video without the app, especially for participants who didn't have a lot of experience with AR, it was difficult to handle the app in the first place. Also, we observed a higher physical workload in this condition, which is not surprising compared to passively watched video. It was interesting to see that there is a slightly higher mental workload when using the app and the video together. This showed us that using both at the same time, even though we used AR, caused a higher mental workload. There is no significant difference in effort, performance and temporal. This effect is positively rated by us. We could observe two trends after analyzing the results from the UAQ. On the one hand side, watching the video with the app was rated as more creative, exciting, supportive, innovative, and easier to learn. On the other hand, it was rated as less well-structured, slightly more confusing, and less compliant, which goes in line with our observations from the NASA TLX. The open comments confirmed both observations. Participants liked the app extension, but they reported difficulties to concentrate on both the video and the app. To answer our first research question, participants liked the app as an extension to the video. This is visible in the high scores and the hedonic quality of the UEQ. Therefore, from the user experience perspective, the AR app is a useful addition to the video. Of course, we cannot neglect that the novelty effect could have affected our results. But despite that, we are convinced that AR-supported edutainment could spark motivation and engagement over a longer period of time. Only a long-term evaluation can find that out. As mentioned before, watching educational videos while interacting with an AR app imposes additional physical and mental workload on the viewer. We already expected an additional physical workload compared to watching the video. Multitasking with the app and the video increases the mental workload. However, the mental workload is only slightly higher and we are confident that with an appropriate design, multitasking could be avoided. To conclude, the viewers accepted an AR extension of educational videos. This offers a great potential for educational TV. However, the distraction of viewers through a second device is still an issue that needs to be overcome. To address this issue, an adapted app design could reduce multitasking. Also, it was suggested by a participant that the app and the video could be connected and the video could be slowed down or paused during interaction. Furthermore, the broadcaster's perspective has to be evaluated. On the one hand, an AR extension might attract a younger audience, but on the other hand, production workflows have to be adapted accordingly. To sum up, AR extended edutainment has a lot of potential. The impact on learning, however, still has to be evaluated. This is usually the time to ask questions. Due to this format, it's quite difficult. So if you have any questions, please take a look at our paper or get in touch with us. Thank you.